What's up guys, ASG here. Sorry, I meant uh, SAG. Uh, today we have uh, another episode of the Hamburg Career Mode. And we're going to start with a quick game here. Sim against SC Paderborn. As we are near the top of the standings right now. We need a win right now here at home. And we end up getting a win. 2 no versus uh, Paderborn. We had beat them earlier in the DFB Pokal first round. And we beat them here 2-0. The goal from goals from Kittle and Almeida. So that was a big win there as we move on here. I think there was one other result today. It was uh, there, sorry, VFL on Sabrek and it went over uh, Firth there. As now looking at the standings, we are um, one game, in, they got one game in hand. So we are one point behind first. VFL Bukum, as you can see, Jonah Fabiash ends up uh, getting a loan there. Um, Here's a biggie A is tied with us also. Heidenheim's there. Darmstadt, Hanover 96. Early, again, we're early in the season, but we'll see what happens, really. So I'm really excited about that. And now we have a youth scout scouting report. Now I got to make some decisions here on uh, Niels Becker and uh, I think it's Michael Keller. And first, I want to change Michael Keller's position. It does say his secondary position is CDM. So I take a look. I wouldn't mind changing it to CDM so we can really fit our formation. Whenever team I play, I love playing the 4 2 3 1. Usually a center mid can be able to go back to a CDM. Again, when you want center mid, you don't need guys that can attack and score all the time. You need guys that can also play some defense. So looking at it, we couldn't really turn into him a CDM, so we just turned him into left mid. So that meant Niels Becker needed to change position because I can't have two youth prospe prospects be left mids. I want one youth prospect, like good one, in each position, really, if I want to develop guys and loan them out. So we changed Niels Becker to the right mid. I'll probably be the right mid position. And later in the episode, you'll see my youth scouting end up coming, uh, really helping because we landed a big prospect, but you'll see that after the first game, which is against VFL Buckham. As you can see there, Tiago Almeida actually is on the September uh, sh uh, the shortlist for the September Player of the Month in the Bundesliga 2. We get another scam report here as, uh, ooh, Wagner, about 275000 not too bad. We'll take that. Fiat Vach, we reject. Kuntz, we accept. Vogel, we reject. Samer, we were thinking about it, and we sign him. But Lucas Kruger, we're going to hold on him. We'll see what he's like. Samara, they're looking a bit creepy. And now we head to another game here. We're playing VFL Bauckham. They are ahead uh, in the table by one point on us in the standings. This is an away match. We need this win here to really, uh, really show a statement of intent for us to win that title. I think this is our game to come through, really, as we, as you can see. It's only match day nine, I know. But still, this is big as we are in the Vonovia Rostadion. I feel this is the first big, big matchup against a title contender. And it's where I get to see where this team's at. And after, we're going to have some same games where we're also going to play uh, VFP Stuttgart and uh, DFP Pokal. That'll be another game, again, we're playing the Buttons League team there. That'll be another game where I get to really see where this team's at. So I'm really excited about that. As you can see, the two teams there. The Bundesliga, too. I'm really excited about this one. VFL, Bauckham, they've only conceded seven goals, and we've scored 18 goals. This means we scored just over two goals a game, and they've only they've, they give up less than one a game. So really, it's strength for strength. We'll see who comes through. I really hope we can come through in this game, but we'll see. As you can see, uh, two teams uh, shaking hands there. Also, I'd like to apologize. I've been dealing with school and work, and my editor has been really messing with me. It hasn't been that good. This is like my third time recording because it's been messing up each time. But hopefully this one will work. As you can see, the two teams uh, shaking hands there and then. Uh, our players shaking with the refs as this is a big away game for us. As now we get to see the starting line for VFL Bakum. Ryman is in net here with Lamparos, De Carlia, Gamboa, Danilo, Chibasa, Losila at CDM, Zolj, Zoler, and Baum. And Gavinola at the striker. A 4 2 3 1, kind of like what we play, except you know, no difference actually. It's wide, it's not narrow. So, looking at our team, we have Allreich, Gideon, sorry, Gideon John, Vandrolligan, Leopold, and Wagnerman. Yusuf gets a start with Dudziak. Almada with Jata and Kittle on the wing. And Lucina Triore is going to get a start today instead of Josh Sargent. I played Sargent last game. We know. Well, the Cena Trier is capable of, and he's in some pretty good form. He has, already has three goals early in the campaign. 
to go with Almeida 6, and he doesn't even play that much. So we get started here on the highlights. Here is Yusuf early with the ball. Here goes Gideon John giving it to Team Leopold. Here comes Leopold. Down the fullback. Here's Almeida with the turn. Tiago Almeida with the strike. And that's a big save there. And you're trying to finesse into the corner. It was kind of pretty almost right at the keeper as Ryman here has to parry it out to the left. Pretty decent save and a decent early chance really, really showing our intent. And not too much action other than the 35th minute here. Here comes Jean. Looking for Wagenman, but look at this play by Jata. The back heel, world class. Wagenman's going to find Almeida. Here comes Almeida. Almeida down the wing. It's Almeida with a strike and it's 1-0 for... Uh, Hamburg, a big strike by Thiago Almeida on the 36th minute to put us ahead. As you can see there, the keeper not so happy about that. Almeida, once he gets past the defender, the center back has a choice. He decides to take the pass across, and Almeida makes no mistake there. Nice finish with his right rein to the left, left hand, uh, near the left corner, really, left side of the net. Easy finish. Smithy's going to be happy about that one. And that makes it 1-0 for Hamburg. That's his sixth goal in the Bundesliga, too. You can see why he was listed for September Player of the Month. Getting five goals. That's pretty impressive. as to, Especially as a center attacking midfielder. Here. And really, that would be the last action of the half. Pretty decent half from us. We... Not too many chances in this game. But that was solid for us. Because when we had the big chance, we made it count. This team is a very good attacking team. If we do really well defensively, I think we can win a game. We we're, we don't have problems scoring. It's just defending, really, against a big team. So, that was it for the first half. 1-0 here in Parkham. So, we head into the second half. We start in the 49th minute as Gideon Joan has it. Finding Wagnermann. Wagnermann looking for someone. And he's going to find Bakary Jata. Back to Yasawa Wagnermann. Ahasan Yusuf with it. Yusuf finding back of Jata. Jata waiting for Vogneman. Now he plays it to Vogneman down the wing. Here goes Vogneman. Vogneman's going to find Lasina Traore. And it's 2 0 Hamburg. Lasina Traore near post. And he puts Hamburg up by 2. 52nd minute. That's a big goal. Really increasing the gap. And now a bit of a cushion here for Hamburg and what has been a great game for this. As you can see, nice pass by Jata finding Wagnermann. And I think that's Wagnermann's second assist as, again, Lucina Troy. Nice finish here. He knows if he goes across, the keeper likely saves it. But he goes near post. The keeper has no chance. And Smithies is really happy about that one. His team is up 2-0 here and was a T, uh, sorry, T. A key game in the title race here. That's Lucina Troy's fourth goal here. Making it 2-0. Well, As now we move on, I believe. Yep, we're going to move on. Just watching it playing around a bit. And now we move on here to the 66th minute. Here comes Bakum, and it's Chibosh. Chibosh playing it long, but Vandrelligan's over that. Their attack was pretty weak today. Here is Al Hassan Yusuf. Yusuf finding Trari, who's got Sony Kittle. Sony Kittle's running. Kittle to make it three. And it's an easy save for Ryman near post. Not the grace of strikes from Kittle from the wing. Ryman makes an easy save and parries it away for the right to the right. And it stays 2 0. Smithy's not the happiest about that finish. As now substitution to be made here. Karabek and Sargent are coming in for Almeida and Lucina Traore. Both Almeida and Traore getting goals for Hamburg to put them up to nil. Putting in a really good shift. Doing a great job in this game. As now we move on here to the 87th minute. Here's Bakary Jata. Jata and the Sargent. Sargent waiting for Karabek. Karabek making the run. As this time he decides to give it to Sony Kittle. And Kittle's going to try to find Karabek. Ooh, that was a close one there for Karabek. But it was really hard to strike there. Just a bit wide and it remains 2-0. Here in the 88th minute. And that would be really the last big chance of the game. A solid win for us. We really dominated this game. As you can see. Sergeant finding Karabak. Karabak is probably going to play a ball to the Kittle, but the whistle ends up going off. 2-0 for Hamburg. We take the lead, I believe, in the title race, depending on uh, what 
Erzbeg A do in their game, because if they do win, we're probably tied. But that's just a big win. We needed that. We needed some distance, and we needed to prove that we can beat the big teams, because that's what we need to do really night in and night out. VFL Bauckham. We came into their stadium, and we didn't just beat them. We smoked them. That was just great from us. Almeida and Triari with the goals in the 37th and the 53rd minute. And uh, the match ends up being 2-0 for Hamburg SV. A solid win. And really, after struggling a bit in other games, this game just reasserted that this team can still win it all. This is a... Ch Oh, sorry about that. That was my daddy yelling at the cats. Oh, goodness. As we get into the post-match interview. Uh, I guess we're all human, aren't we? All together here in quarantine. So, as we get into the post-match interview here, um, first question asking me about really what is a remarkable run. We are unbeaten since the beginning of the season. And I'm really happy about that. Where this team is developing, but we need to make sure we keep that form. And today was a good example of it. We defended really well, as I said there, and an impressive win. Yeah, this is a great win. Great defensive effort. It's what this team is about. And if we're really going to be a Bundesliga team, we got to win games like this. We got to prove ourselves. And that this game, we really did a good job of that. As you can see, Arizona Big A ended up winning their game, so we're tied for the top right now. Hanover ninety six and fourth. Uh, FC Pauly tied with them in Dirth. We get an offer for uh, Xavier Armachi, um, and we end up accepting that. As now we go into our next game against VFL Asenrak. An away game, but what a game we still need to win. So we end up simming this, but the sergeant was starting our striker. We end up winning 1 0. Bakari Jata getting us the goal. Uh, on and uh, Tiago made a missed a penalty. That was unfortunate. I got I got consider who's really my penalty taker. I still trust him. I like Tiago Almeida, but still, decent win. VFL Bakum get a win. Nunberg though they lost to Brunswick, so that was a big loss there for them. Next up, we have a game against FC Heidenheim. Uh, we end up quick simming that one. And look at that, another 2 0 win. Once again, Tiago Mita misses a penalty, but still, he got a goal himself. And Lucina Triari ended up starting that game. And Leisner returned back from injury. Agu started that game, and Triari, of course, he got a goal. Seems like Lucina Triari has been better than Josh Sargent when it comes to goals, but Sargent is decent as a false knight, especially finding Almeida. Again, they're both just really good. I'm not picking, probably not going to pick one. I'm going to really rotate between the two. But, you know, in the future, when they when they both develop in rapid rates, I'm gonna have, at the end of the day, I'm going to have to pick one because they're both going to want to start. So now we head to a game against VFB Stuttgart. So you can see Sony Kittle again, only through one round, but he's the leading scorer as he had a brace against Paderborn. And here we are at the Volkspark Stadion for the DFB Pokal 1000. It's Hamburg. And VFB Stuttgart here. A key home match. This is where we can really establish ourselves as a Premier League team. As you can see, the two teams walking out. looking at that banner there for Hamburg at the Volksbach Stadion. It's fantastic scenes here. No crowd, though. Hopefully the fans can come back for next season. So that would be, that would be great. Because it isn't the same without the fans, really. But I have to say, it's beautiful and looking stadium here. As you can see, the two teams out. There's Nicholas Gonzalez and Mehendi. Those two are going to be dangerous. We need to make sure that we are able to stop them if we're going to win this game. So looking at the starting lineup for Hamburg, not too many changes here except Bogdan's going to play at the left. Gamara is going to play at the right back. We're going to give Leopold a rest. Sargent gets to start a striker, and Alisson Youssef comes in for uh, Dudziak. We're going to give Dudziak a rest in this one. Gideon Jones going to be the captain. I gave Hoyer a start also. As you can see, that was our typical 4-2-3-1. As you can see, VFB Stuttgart shaking hands with the referee. The two teams ready for action here. As they go with th only three in the back, surprisingly. I believe it's like a 3-4-2-1. Somewhere around it. Yeah, 3-4-2-1. They got Gonzalez and Stryker Mahendi with Silas Wamagitiga. I try my best at that one. Farhashi, Foster, Mangala, Anton, Kempf, and 
that was about it for their. I, I forgot about the other two players. We're just turning back into keeper. As there's Sony Kill ready for action here in Hamburg. A big game. The round two of the DFB Pokal. Remember, they, their goal for us was to advance pretty. I think it was around the 16. So that we get, this is another step on the way. As we get under action here, as you can see, the player is just playing it around here. As we start in the 20th minute, it's Al Hassan Youssef. Youssef's going to find Bakari Jata. Here comes Jata. Jata waiting. He's going to find Tiago Almeida. Tiago Almeida! It's 1 0 Hamburg. Tiago Almeida with an absolute beautiful strike and an early lead here in the 20th minute. Look at this play by Almeida. He waits on the outside. He sees Sargent going in. He goes out. Bakari Jata knows Almeida's coming out. The right back doesn't come in. And look at the strike with, strike with his weak foot. That is world class. Right into the left, key, left hand corner. Keeper had no chance. Smithy's happy about that. As it is 1-0 here for Hamburg. As you can see, it's his first goal in the DFB Pokal. Very exciting there. And great start, really, from us. I was really excited about that. Tiago Almeida in absolute blazing form. As we move on to the 28th minute, here comes Josh Sargent. Sargent with some men beside him. Almeida on the inside. He's got Tiago Almeida. Almeida making a run. Here goes Almeida. It's Tiago Almeida. It's two for him. And it's two for Hamburg SP. What a start here as in the 30th minute. Tiago Almeida puts one away. What a ball from Josh Sargent. Almeida coming down the middle. His pace is absolutely amazing. He gets through the defenders and he puts it away with his weak foot again. Absolute world-class strike. It's 2-0. As you can see, no chance about it for the keeper. That was a high, high shot right into the top corner. As that makes it 2-0. Smithy's happy about that one. It was an amazing performance against VFB Stuttgart. Here, that's Thiago Almeida's second goal in this game. And this, of course, the second goal in the DFB Pokal. Because we only played one game before. And we moving on to the 39th minute. Here's Almeida. Almeida has Sony Kittle. Sony Kittle's through. Here goes Sony Kittle. Can it be three? Unbelievable. Three nil. Hamburg are running rampage on VFB Stuttgart, putting this game within lengthy reach for Stuttgart to come back. Nice ball from Almeida, finding Sony Kittle, who got past the right mid. And he puts it away right into the corner. What a strike there. Absolutely fantastic from Hamburg. And was looking like a dominant performance here. Keeper have no chance there. And just unbelievable. Smithy is just ecstatic about this performance right now in the first half. And that really would be the last action in the first half. So at the end of the first half, it would be 3-0 for VFB Stuttgart. What a performance. That's all I gotta say. That was incredible. Just absolutely fantastic. Just unreal. I I was so shocked. Almeida with his two goals. Kittle getting one late and we're already up 3-0 at the half against the Bundesliga team. Heading into the second half, here goes Al Hassan Yusuf. Yusuf, they're looking for four. Yusuf is gonna put the ball in for Sony Kittle, but that one's over the bar. A decent run from Yusuf. He's got some pace for a CDM. Usually you don't see that all the time. And still, that was really good from him. As we now move on here to the 61st minute. Here's a chance for VFB Stuttgart finally coming to the game. Mahendi going to find Fernhashi. Endo. Endo just making a run for it. What is Gideon John doing? That's a big save by Albright. That was their first big chance of the game, and Ulrich doing a nice job spreading out, trying to go near post, but still a big save there. As it remains 3-0 as we make a sub. We're bringing on Tim Leobold and for Guy, Guy Marva. So Leobold goes to the left. They're going to put Wagenman at right back. Cross going in, Ulrich all over that. As we move on to the 70th minute, here comes Jabba back to Endo. Endo's going to find Kalash Josek. Kalash Josek's making a run. He's free. Kalash Josek with the finish, but no. Great save. Vendrol again. Getting it out. So that's Meyer. 
And nice job there. Here comes the counter. Here comes Kensabe. Back to Leobold. Leobold's going to find Josh Sargent. Sargent looking for Kittle, but Kittle's offside. Damn, big, another big save by Ulrich there. He's been playing great this game. Decent clearance by higher and almost being able to score on the counter, but unfortunate offside. Moving on to the 78th minute. Oh, here comes Kalajic. He's free again. Hoyer can't catch up. And this time he puts it away. It's 3-1. And uh, finally struck our game on the board. A bit, a bit late here. They need two goals now in 10 minutes. But this was due to happen. Our defense was starting to get picked apart. And again, when you got that many people up front, it was, it was do, destined to happen, really. That's a nice ball there. Kalajak Hoyer has no chance in up Megs Ulrich to put it into the near into the near post. That's again nice finish there. Smithy's not gonna be that happy, but still 3 1 Hamburg and was likely gonna be a win for them after a great first half. As you can see for Kalajak, that's his first goal in the TFP Pokal. As Sukkar needed two goals, but they wouldn't be able to get it. It wouldn't matter. Hamburg SV is going to get the win likely here as Bakary Jata making a run. Can Hamburg make it 4-1? Here's Jata. Jata still going. He's going far post. It's Kittle. Ooh, that was a close one for Sony Kittle. He was looking for the far post there. And the, we're around about the 96 minutes. Time to blow that whistle and for the players to celebrate. The keeper putting it down. There, that was a decent ball. He really hit that well. We make a sub here. We bring on Neri in for Yashua Vagnaman just to give Neri some time. And Vagnaman was really tired. Kobo goes to kick. And that should be full time. Hamburg win 3 1. Hope you all like that scoreboard there, the official DFB Pokal scoreboard and the logo there. A great performance from the guys, really. Goals from Kittle. And Almeida, Almeida, yeah, Almeida scored one, Kittle scored one. Who scored the last one? I think Almeida scored both. He scored two that game. Almeida's on fire. So Almeida had two, Kittle had one, Kalajiak had their goal. We scored all our goals in the first half. We just went off to a fiery start. Almeida was fantastic. And that's the end of that. 3-1 for Hamburg SV as we go into the post-match interview. And what will be another good one, really, after a great performance here. Talking about how we won in style. We just played great. This was our game, really, to show our attacking spirit. Both games that I've been playing, we are starting to really show ourselves. We're starting to sell into the team that we are. Now, they're talking about Alisson Yusuf not playing well. I think he played really well, to be honest. So I don't know what they're talking about. He had that decent chance. We won 3-1. And, of course, Tiago Almeida. Unbelievable. Our best signing by far and our highest rated signing. But I just want someone who had good potential, and he was that. As you can see, we're up the top in the standings by uh, two points. We're going to look at some other results here in the DFB Pokal. First, we look at who we're playing. We're playing Hansa Rostock, a team in the Bundesliga 2. Definitely a favorable draw compared to what the, the draw that some other teams got. Schalke playing Leverkusen there. Leipzig's going to play Dortmund. That's a big game. Looking at some of the results. VFL Bochum only lost 2-1. They played a solid game. Hertha Blink in a big 3-0 win there over Hanover 96. But the big upset there was Kaus Rusher SC beating Hoffenheim 3-2. Big win for them. And nothing else really too big there. Schalke almost losing. So now we go into our next game against Carl's Rusher SC, who ended up beating Hoffenheim. And we end up simming this. I was really worried about this, and for a good reason, as they end up beating us 1-0 here. Again, they play great. Heist with their goal. They're in really good form right now, and we just ran into them at the wrong time. Definitely this putting a dent in our hopes, really, for the title. VFL Bauckham got to win. Dusseldorf got to win. Now, looking at some uh, scan reports, Schultz, we decline. Cruz, we decline. Shriver, we decline. Uh, Schmeichel, we decline. Oliver Hens, looking pretty good. We're going to accept him. And then we hit the jack bar. Micah Winkler worth $4.8 million. I don't care that he's a keeper. That looks absolutely great. 75 to 94 potential. He's already... He, we already know he's going to be great. So I had to look at this guy and see how good he was. He turns out to be a 69 overall. 
I had to call him up right away. And I thought maybe he can be our future keeper, not this year, but next year. If we can develop him to like a 73 to 75, for so then he can be our keeper for the future. So I thought, you know, I'm going to loan him out. And to my to my how happy I was, he's an exciting prospect. This means his potential is 86 to 90. We really hit the jackpot here as, of course, I'm going to improve on his um, handling and positioning. Positioning is very important. A lot of keepers have very low rate of positioning as we loan list Winkler there, which is fantastic. I'm really happy about that. So we sim. This is our last game we're going to sim. It's against FC St. Pauli, a decent team. We go to sim it, and we end up drawing 1-1. We dominated this game. We had we only had one shot, and it was the goal they scored in the 88th minute after we scored in the 86th minute. Jean scoring for us, and Dashner scoring for them. And what was really an unfortunate result. I was really not happy about that one. As we end up only drawing Nunberg in the win there. And Darmstadt drawing with Kiel. So looking to the next episode. We play Nunberg. And uh, we play Rostock. Hanover 96. Uh, Erzabegi A. And Darmstadt. So some big matches uh, coming in the future. We are. I think we're third right now. As you can see. They take a break. So Nunberg next. I'm going to play that game. They're fourth. We're three points away from the title from VFL Bauckham. A tight race, really, between three teams right now. But that could change. As Thank you, everyone, for watching. And peace.